Hello and welcome to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forwind. So this is a brief guide on how to get the Relentless Push East achievement as Russia. As you can see, it is October 5th, 1598. I just got the achievement. I could have done it a little bit about this fast, maybe a little bit faster, depending on how quickly I formed Russia. So in order to get this achievement, you have to own all of the Eastern Siberia region, which is actually not the hardest thing to do. Um, you actually don't have to own exactly all of it. You have to own the coastline, which eh, it's a little bit tricky to do. Um, so first major priority is um, form Russia. I did it as Muscovy into Russia, and uh, really all you have to do is get to Russia and have at least the second Russian ID unlocked, Siberian Frontier, then for 20 diplomatic power, you can establish a Siberian frontier, which will automatically colonize without the need of a colonist. It goes between 15 and 5 and 15 settlers a month, go, or colonists a month into it. You want you have to obviously, if you play as Muscovy into Russia, you have to deal with the nation of Perm over here, which if you start as Muscovy is your vassal. Um, you want to annex them before you form Russia so that immediately you can start colonizing your way across Russia. Um, you don't have to actually explore any land because it automatically discovers adjacent territory. Um, that's not 100% true, but it's the most useful way to describe doing it. Essentially, you start out, you can only sneak around the northern part of, I think it's the Siberian Khanate that's out here, um, or the uh, Uzbek, that in this case it formed Bukhara. Um, you have to go around them, which takes a long time. The trick is, once you get over to about... Oh, well, depending on how you do it. Essentially, you want to find nations that if you threaten them for land, you can get... Um, they'll give you the land, you can immediately establish a frontier. So, an interesting little mechanic is, and I'll show it to you here, because I just did it. I have a established colony here, in this one province here. And I don't have an established colony here or actually here, which means I shouldn't be able to colonize as a frontier this province. However, I went out here and conquered the Siberian, essentially Siberian nomads out here. Siberian Tribal Council, whose name I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce. I went and conquered them, and all to do establish the Siberian frontier is you have to have a um, path back of owned land to your capital. So um, I actually jumped all the way over here through land I owned, I conquered in a war to colonize this single province and complete the achievement. Um, so that's a trick you can use specifically on Uzbek and later on Buryata. You can threaten them for a single province that you've just established a frontier next to. I did it on, I believe, this province. I colonized Ket and then I threatened for Tomsk here and that allowed me immediately to start putting frontiers out here. You have to do this because there is not enough time to do it slowly without wars. You have to conquer some people. Um, in fact, one of the nations that you have to conquer is you have to conquer whichever nation is currently in control of Udi over here. If you're really lucky, like I was, Buryata has conquered it. If not, uh, you might have to fight a war with the Ming, which... It, you don't have to. You can actually threaten whoever owns it for that province, because you're usually larger. But this is very sneakily in the East Siberia region. It's the southernmost one. And unlike all the others, until you get out here, uh, it's owned by somebody. So uh, I colonized my way over to, I think it was here, fought a brief war with Buryata to take these two, these three or four provinces. And then I continued colonizing my way up here. However, once I got up here, I think it was 1590, I realized that there was no way I was going to manage to colonize this whole region. However, there's a wonderful little mechanic up here under the Cossacks um, estate, which is called Cossack Exploration Edition. It gives you a conquistador with 40 tradition. In fact, you could have used the, I could have used this a lot sooner. So I went over and I handed, let's see, a good portion of the steps over to the Cossacks, and that enough to get up to, I think it was required 60 influence or something. 
And uh, I took the conquistador and I used the conquistador to explore this way faster than I was colonizing. You could use it to get to Buriata earlier and dare declare a non casus belli war, um, which is what I had to do to conquer this land. And you can take the land and the odds are you may in fact be able to core it or even if you can't, as long as you get a Siberian frontier to it, you can then use it to leap further. Um, obviously, you're probably not going to do it before 1590. Um, sadly, taking you know um, colonist exploration ideas, true, you can colonize a little bit faster, but you don't have to. It's easier just to use the Siberian frontier. Um, if you're trying to get it earlier, obviously take the colonists, but if you're actually doing a Russia run, use the frontier. It's not worth having a colonist as Russia, unless, of course, you're going to go for, say, Alaska. Um, but remember, you have to do the, you want to keep the frontiers going as soon as possible. You probably have to threaten or declare war for at least one, two, or three provinces. I did it for three, and that got me over to here, uh, here actually. And then I fought a war with Buryata to take the last one. But usually it's going to be owned by either Korea or one of the hordes, but there will be less than you, so you can threaten away basically for free and take the province. So it's not the biggest thing, but you do have to get here and get uh, a claim on the province and threaten for it at a reasonable pace. Because that can slow you down. Um, the first time I did this in one of my Russia Let's Plays, I didn't really realize that that was part of Eastern Siberia, but it is. So that's the trick to this. Form Russia pretty much as soon as you can, even if it requires you skimping on taking, finishing off Idea Tree. I went religious ideas so I could fight wars with everybody. The rest of these, yeah, don't worry about them. And uh, then start putting frontiers everywhere. Threaten, threaten on the furthest province you can threaten for based off your frontier. And use that to hop, skip, and jump your way all the way over to the coastline. I would say you need about 40, 45 years just to do this area over here, frontiers-wise. I could be wrong. It takes about, I'd say, five to eight years, if you're lucky with an event, to get a, uh, a colony established. So that's my guide to how to do the relentless push east as a Russian nation. Obviously, this requires the Third Rome, and it also requires interaction with the Cossacks Estates, which I don't remember what that's from. Might be Rights of Man or, some, or Wealth of Nations, one or the other. Uh, if you know, leave that in the comments. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully this has helped you. If you have any questions, comments, or a better way to do this, please leave it below and uh, help other people with it. Bye!